NBC 24 today now at 651. Back with the Imagination Station. We have Sarah Gold with us this morning. First off, thanks for coming in. Nice to have you. Thank you. You guys have a great month going on there at, at Imagination Station. It is Spooky Science Month yes. because it's the month of Halloween. <laughs> and timing. this time around, we did the slime before. Well, this yeah. time we're doing crystals. We are. so Ghost um, crystals, to be Ghost exact. crystals, yes. Um, so we're actually talking about polymers again. So mm -hmm. we know that slime was a polymer that we created earlier. Right. Um, and again, lots of things are polymers. So maybe you've seen like these little grow animals. Mm -hmm. So he actually started like this. He's been in water for about a day and you can see he's starting to get bigger. It's kind of like bumpy and weird it's because he still has lots of room to grow and expand. Okay. And um, then how does this how does this work and why did you bring along right here? Oh, so um, in my beaker here, I have a very small amount of powder and this is sodium polyacrylate. And it's pretty cool because that small amount of powder can actually absorb all of this water almost instantly. So what's gonna happen is that's gonna change into a gel. Oh, and wow. look at that. <laughs> And you might even have this at home if you have small kids. This is the same stuff that you're going to find in a diaper. So you can actually touch oh, it. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. So it's a super absorber, which oh. is pretty cool. It can soak oh. up all of that water and use it. Um, and so one thing that we like to do is talk about ghost crystals during spooky science. Now, ghost crystals are also a super absorber. So I don't know if our camera can zoom in, but there's a really tiny little couple of spheres right yeah, there on the table. You can see it right there. Yeah, take a look at your screen right now. Now, that's how a ghost crystal starts. Okay. All right. Now, I have ghost crystals in here. So if you want, why don't you go ahead and you can put your hand in there. Oh, <laughs> wow. So it <laughs> looks like just a clear glass of water. You can't even tell. No, they blend and right in. And different sizes, too. Yeah. Wow. So these are what our ghost crystals look like, and they actually blend right into our water because they yeah. have the same index and refraction mm -hmm. as the water. Now, do you mind if I pop one? No, go ahead. What happens when they pop? There you go. Oh. Yeah. So you can see that oh. our polymer is actually 99.9% .9 water. So and that, that's what really surprises me. Yeah. Is that, I mean, you have, it's solid all yeah. the way through. So a lot of people think that if we break them open, they may have like a water filled mm -hmm. center, but it's actually solid all the way through. And these are kind of cool. Maybe you've seen them in centerpieces at weddings mm -hmm. or sometimes in floral arrangements. Um, and once upon a time, you can actually touch that one too. Um, the oh, agriculture, yeah, the <laughs> agriculture industry actually um, oh, created something similar that was starch-based, and they would put it on the crops to help um, kind of balance out the drought and the drench because it can absorb that water and hold it for a long time, and then it releases slowly. Wonderful. Well, now all of the uh, youngsters coming through Imagination Station, are they able to get up there with you and to get a close look at when you put the crystals in? Yeah, and definitely. And. One of their favorite things to do is if you hold them from up above and you can go ahead and drop some in there and they almost seem to disappear oh because God. they have, you know, that same look to them that oh. they kind of just disappear <laughs> right into our glass. So how long does it take for them to um, Those take anywhere from like 24 to 48 hours to reach their full okay. size. So it's you, something drop in and really keep a close eye on there yeah, for a few hours. Yeah, and you can hours. actually put food coloring in with them and change oh. them to different colors and all kinds of really fun stuff. So something else that people could also do at home. Yeah, so um, you can actually find these little spheres. They're called um, sodium polyacrylamide. Okay. <laughs> um, and, but you can find them online. Well, wonderful. Again, if you would rather just go out there and let them do this at the Imagination <laughs> Station, you can check that yes. out there. Of course, they're back to their um, normal hours. They open back up on the 29th. Yes. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on. This is always an exciting part of the month when we get to see what you have going on there. What else can we expect this month? Oh, we actually have Mythbusters coming on the 17th. So we've been loading in trucks and construction has started. And it's looking really, really awesome. So we're very excited. Uh, yes, and we are too for you. Thank you so very much, Sarah. We really do appreciate it. Your time right now at 6.55. Stick with us. We have a little bit more here on NBC24 today. We'll be right back.